Hello and welcome to Selenium Web Driver tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to look into some more basic methods in Web Driver interface. So, in the last tutorial, we have seen about uh, these uh, some of these methods like get manage, get current URL, get title, get paid source, navigate, quit, and close. Right. So, these are very basic methods that you will be using very frequently in your uh, scripts. In almost all the scripts that you'll write so um, these are some more of the uh, methods that are available in the web driver interface that will be very commonly used so uh, the first one we'll look into is uh, we'll start with this find element by and find element so basically uh, what exactly find element so on any web page when you are trying to do uh, the testing or you are you are trying to automate a script Basically, you want to interact with the web element. So, for example, your text box or the drop down menu or uh, radio button or any other, you know, uh, element on the page. Uh, on the web page, it's, it's known as web element. Now, find element method uh, helps you to find the element with different techniques. So, the element locator techniques that we have discussed. Uh, like ID name XPath CSS selector you can use that to find the element and we have already seen this in the previous you know uh, tutorial how we have uh, identified the element so I won't go into a lot more detail um, of find element we'll we'll learn about find elements as well so difference between find element and elements is that find element finds the particular one element so uh, if you specify find elements, it will find all the elements that match that particular uh, X path. Or if there, if you specify, you know, a locator that uh, matches or that returns similar uh, web elements of that type, it will return all those web element into a list. Then get window handle and get window handle. So get window handle. Basically, this method is required to handle the window. So, for example, your browser window, when it uh, it opens, so it gives you the uh, the handle for that window, so that you can um, perform uh, different actions related to window. And this will be required. So, for example, you want to switch the window, you want to switch frames, and you you want to switch between the window, etc. So, you'll need that get window handle and get window handles method to do that. And then switch to is basically utilized to switch between the window or, you know, like you can switch between the frames or the window. So once you get the window handle, then you know the unique handles for the window that are uh, uh, that are open on your machine. And you can basically switch among the windows using the switch to method. Now, let's go ahead and understand this in the so let me minimize this and let me open Eclipse ID. So here, um, this is the previous code. So I'll simply add these new methods in the same code here, right? And the website, uh, the sample website that I'll take is same source demo for some of the uh, demo stuff. Okay, so I'll simply say source demo. So what I want to do is I'll want to log in. So I want to find element of uh, you know this find element this text box this username box then this password and then click on the login button okay so you will use find element method to do that and we have already done it so i'll simply go to the previous class that i have created login test and we'll simply copy these four lines from here okay so what these lines are doing is Basically, we are simply so source demo is already open. So we don't need the get method again here, right? So what we are doing is we are using the find element method, right? And if you see the return type is a web element. Okay, so you can store the return type basically into you can just say web element we is equal to and then you can store it like that. Okay. And then you can perform the actions, for example, click, etc. So I can do like this as well. Or most of the time you will be doing, you won't be storing it like that. You will be directly um, invoking a method like this. Okay, so you'll 
I'll just say send keys and then send the username okay so the username was let me see what the username was it was standard user okay so that's basically how you how you will um, use find element okay so we have used find element for uh, with by id for the username by id for the password and entered username and password so we have entered username as standard user and uh, password as secret sauce and then i'm clicking on the click uh, i'm clicking on the button so if you'll see i'm clicking on this login button and the x path that you see so this x path is the locator for that particular login button okay so that will log in to the particular website and once we log in then if i copy this username and password and i want to show you how you can utilize find element so here you can you can see that there are six elements or six products on this particular page now when and these are sort of you know similar so these are a similar uh, elements on the page so if you want to get the number of you know say for example you are doing a search and you want to verify that a particular page should only display 20 search results at a time or if it is a e-commerce site you just want to display uh, verify that um, a particular page when you search the product it it displays 20 items on one particular page and then you know pagination is available so these sort of scenarios you can verify with the uh, find web elements um, method and you can get those web elements and then you can uh, built in the logic uh, loops etc to verify these um, sort of test cases so i'll cover all those um, you know scenarios in future tutorials but for now we'll just say uh, i want to get all the details or all the products that are available on this page when we log in on this website okay so what i'll do is after logging in i'll simply say driver dot find elements okay and in this case find elements and then locator is same i'll use xpath so locator you can use same and then in xpath we have to find the locator right which returns all these six elements okay so if you just right click on any of the um, item then it will give you the total list right so for example in this case if you see um, if i hover over these items here right so there is a div class inventory list okay and then these are the inventory items okay so below uh, this class these are all inventory items that are being returned so these are six items that i want to verify now to write an xpath for that i'll simply say control f because in this case if i simply copy the xpath for this one so just above these product just right click on the parent item and click on copy xpath and paste it here we'll see what exactly it returns it doesn't it returns two items but that's not what we are looking for right so we'll simply use or we'll write a custom xpath okay so what we'll do is we'll simply say um, the class is inventory list so we'll change it to so we'll say class so here you see the class is inventory list right and below that let's say inventory list okay and below that i want to get all the divs that are present below that okay so you, you can see this is the attribute the class attribute of this particular div so what i have done is i can simply say i've used star here but i can say div so the div tag okay which has the class name as inventory list and then slash all the divs below that particular item okay so you can see now it is displaying one of six right so that's if you just traverse you will see all these items are getting highlighted on the page okay so that's the x path that we are looking for we'll simply copy it and we'll paste that into the x path expression here okay now i'll change it to single quote so that um it doesn't 
use that backspace thing okay all right so now it will find the elements so all those six elements okay so now if you hover over this find elements method you will see the return type is list of web element okay so now we can store all these web element that will be returned the six web element into a list okay so i'll simply say list web element and give the name so i'll say web, web elements and store those web elements into this web element and then i'll print it okay so i'll print all those web elements on the screen so that you can see that okay now what is the uh, so we have seen find element find uh, web el find elements okay now what is the next one so, so the next one is get window handle and get window handle so get window handle will get the um, you know identifier for the window that is open so for example this particular window is open it will get the identifier for this window or the tab so that you can switch among the tabs so for example from swag labs you want to switch to this particular tab so get window handle will get a handle of one particular uh, tab or one window if you say get window handles it will get the window handles for all the open windows that are open at that particular instant so um, now we'll see get window handles so it'll say driver dot get so before that let me navigate to a new website so what we want to do is we want to um, use both get window handle and get window handle so I'll navigate to a new website known as sugar crm and if you see this particular website if i click on request demo it opens a new window right so first we'll navigate to this sugar uh, crm website then we'll get a window handle for this particular tab and then we'll click on request a demo and get window handle use get window handles method to get window handle for both of these you know um, uh, tabs that are open so first thing we'll do is we'll navigate to a new so to navigate we'll say driver dot navigate sorry driver dot navigate to and then provide the url so url we have to provide is sugar crm and then we'll simply say driver dot get window handle for this particular open window okay so what this method will do is it will get the window handle and if you see hover over this method it returns the string okay and so we can store it in the string i'll simply say string window handle and store that okay and then i'll print it to show you what is the window handle and okay so we'll simply print it now the next step we'll click on the demo request a demo and to click on this request a demo we first have to find this web element so i'll right click on this click on inspect and simply copy the x path okay so i won't write the custom x path for now so driver dot find element by x path and simply paste the x path that we have copied and then click on that particular button okay so this command will click on that particular button it will open the window uh, the new window and then we can use driver dot get window handles to get window handle for both of the open tabs or open windows and if you click hover over get window handles what it returns it returns the string of you know uh, set it returns a set which is which basically contains a string right so a string of the window handles so we can store it into a set all right and i'll simply name it as window handles okay 
and then we'll print the window handles okay so with at this instance it should print two window handles let me format the whole code so control shift f will format your code for you okay so now we have navigated to the new website we have understood the uh, web elements how you will get the web elements and print all the web elements on the page and then getting the window handles the last method is basically uh, to switch to right so switch to is, will be utilized to switch the control from one window to another or from one you know frame to another so that will cover in lot more detail when we under, we uh, cover the uh, working with windows in selenium web driver so i'll create a separate uh, tutorial on switch to and window handling again and frame handling in selenium web driver so for now let's go ahead and run this test and see it in execution so let me run it and see what it prints so it will open chrome browser We'll go to source demo website login and then it will print all these web elements then navigate it to sugar crm then it should yeah so it clicked very quickly and you can see here so if we go through so here this is the first you know so we did uh, the print right so print web elements so if you see this line here so these these are the web elements that have got printed right the six six web element that got printed this whole line here okay and then this is the window handle for the first window which is the uh, sugar crm browser window that got open right so this is the handle for that particular window and then once that sugar crm window the we provided the command to click on request a demo right so clicked on request a demo and then it printed the window handles so this is the set that got printed and it has two window handles in it right so that's how you will use window handle and window handles now these are the unique identifiers okay that you will use to switch between the windows and we'll see that in the further window handling and frame handling tutorial of selenium web driver so that's pretty much all about the basic methods in a WebDriver interface. Hope you like the tutorial. Thank you very much for watching.